All right, our last examples uh, in math jam. This is our last video. Um, so let's watch the examples for solving equations, and I can explain the steps a little better. So we'll start with 5x minus 1 equals 9. So really what our goal is is to get this variable alone. We want x alone. So we're going to kind of follow something a little backwards from order of operations because uh, we're trying to get rid of things. So I like to draw a line down the middle. It helps me keep track of the two sides. Uh, so what I really need to do first is I need to get rid of the negative 1. Um, there is a 5 as well, but negative 1 is like unattached. We're going to get rid of it. So the opposite of negative 1 or minus 1, right, that's subtraction, is adding 1. So we're going to go ahead and add 1, right? Um, but if we watch the first video, right, we always have to do the same thing to both sides. We're like keeping the scale balanced. So I'm going to add 1 to the other side as well. So minus 1 and plus 1 equals 0, so that goes away. And we get 5x equals 10. Now we have 5 times x. That's why I would read the left side. So the opposite of multiplying by 5, or times 5, is dividing by 5. So we're going to go ahead and divide both sides by 5. All right, 5 over 5 is 1. Um, whatever we do to the other side, though, um, whatever we do to one side, we do both sides. So I divide both sides by 5. And I'm left with x equals 2. And that's pretty much it. Um, I always like to check my answer. So the way we check, that's what's nice about solving equations, is there's a way to kind of check that your math makes sense. So what we're going to do is we're going to plug in 2 and see what happens. So I'm going to replace x with 2. I'll put a question mark. We want to make sure both sides are the same. That's when an equation is equal. So on the left side, I have 5 times 2 is 10 minus 1. 10 minus 1 is 9. So both sides are 9. Our solution is correct. Um, let me know if you have any questions below. I'm going to go through the remaining three examples. Um, so the next one's pretty similar. 3x plus 7 equals 13. Um, we don't have any parentheses, um, so we don't have to deal with that yet. So what we need to do again is to get that x all by itself. So in this example, the opposite of 7, or adding 7, is subtracting 7. So this one we're going to subtract, because that's the opposite. So I'm going to go ahead and subtract, right? Positive 7 minus a 7, those are 0. So I just have 3x on the left side, and that's allowed as long as I do it on both sides. So 13 minus 7 is... 6. And then now we're left with 3 times x, so we've got to get rid of the 3. The opposite of timesing by 3 is dividing. So we'll divide by 3. And we're left with x is 2. Didn't realize I made the answers the same. Just a coincidence that they both happen to be 2. We'll check. So 3 times 2 plus 7, and then we want to make sure that's equal to 13. So 3 times 2 is 6 plus 7, and we get 13. So it's correct. If we get a different number on both sides, then we probably made a mistake somewhere.